Hi everyone, welcome to Research MD. This is Dr. Pramil. I work as a chief medical officer in the United States, also an associate professor of medicine in one of the large medical schools. Today we're going to talk about aloe vera, okay? And how does it decrease the blood sugar? We're just going to the really deep inside, the pathophysiology and find out. Aloe vera has been here for a very long time. Um, this plant, uh, I mean, for the century they've been using for skin, a lot of other products, okay? Today we're going to look at how does it decrease your blood sugar. Again, diabetes is going crazy in the world. Uh, every year the number of people getting diabetes is really high. So we're going to examine, like, you know, is there a role for uh, aloe vera to decrease the blood sugar, okay? Now, when you talk about blood sugar, when we take the food, what happens is like blood glucose, finally it goes to the blood. And then from the blood, it need to enter into the cell, okay? To, in, in order to enter into the cell, you need this uh, insulin, right? Insulin is produced from the pancreas and that helps the glucose enter into the cell so it doesn't stay in the blood, okay? Now, there are three mechanisms in aloe vera can decrease the blood sugar. First, let's look at the first one, okay? In aloe vera, there's a compound called AEG. What is that? Aloemidine glycoside. That is the most bioactive component of the aloe vera, okay? That activates the insulin receptor. Remember, you need the insulin get the blood into the cell. And then insulin it activates insulin receptor substrate, PI3K, which is phosphatidyl inositidyl 3 kinase. So <clears throat> there is glucose uptake in the skeletal muscle. Okay, that is so most of this um, insulin get activated and then it get the blood glucose into enter into the cell. The next mechanism is a method called translocation. Aloe vera, again, we talk about aloe emodine glycoside, increased translocation of glucose uptake transport of four on the plasma membrane. Okay, that is like you need to move all this GLUT4 into the plasma membrane so it can insulin can facilitate for the uh, glucose enter into the cell. Okay, so it's very important in the normal mechanism. Insulin kind of act through the translocation of GLUT4. So aloe vera, the compound called the aloe emitting glycoside help us to do that increase translocation of GLUT4 into the plasma membrane, more insulin, make the glucose enter into the cell so your glucose level goes down. Okay, let's look at the last mechanism. You have this again, aloe emidine glycoside, it activates protein kinase B and glycogen synthase kinase and that, that increase the glycogen synthesis in the cell and glycogen is stored. The so glucose is converted into glycogen and is stored for like later use. So what's going to happen? Your blood glucose is going to go down. Okay, so remember aloe vera, these are the three main mechanisms the blood sugar, uh, blood sugar can come down. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation.